YouTube! Welcome to The Mightiest Show. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, and especially morning. On this upload, we're going to be looking at how to make your very own giant rat base. Let's dive in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a big base on a little raft. First things first. This is going to mostly depend on your server settings, your building range limit. Mine is turned up. I've done my own settings with all the configs. This is Microsoft. So you can do this on Xbox. This is possible. It's not Steam or anything, so there's no mods for this. Big key thing is knowing your snap points. Basically, by just repeating this process, you can extend this as far as you want. From what I've from what I've built, I've built some pretty big boats or just moving platforms. So pretty much set down your foundation wherever you want, however you want to design it, or you know, if you want to use the triangles or squares, doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter what type of foundation you use, whether it's stone wood metal this will all work the same so you get your foundations laid down <laughs> same process just keep doing that for however big or you know however far you want to do it what I like to do is normally when I do this process, try to find my stairs, normally get a pair of stairs, try to find the snap point right there, boom. And then you have an open spot right here so you can drive, have no issues. And as long as you repeat that process with the ceiling and then finding the snap point underneath it with the foundation, you can go as far as your settings will allow you, to be honest. Not that bad. It shouldn't be too much longer that after that, you can start building like this. got a pretty much a portable base artillery or actually whatever you want and this I have trap doors so that way if you want you can actually bring in birds or whatnot you got your smithy your fabricator chemical bench you name it one thing to note when you're building on stuff like this, you cannot use anything tech-wise. So referring to, you can't use the tech generator, tech shield. You can't use the trough or anything. But you can use the tech light, actually. The, the only downside is that you actually have to use the generator generator. And then you have to place down the cable lines. Which honestly isn't that much of a pain in the ass. If you want... There's actually a way to do it where you can actually have it go inside to where you can't even see it. So it's more clean. But this has been really helpful for when uh, me and my other tribe members I have to go a long distance on another side of the map. Oh, uh, the cryopods will work too. That'll actually work. And then there's also little compartments to where you can actually put stuff and then you can still access the inventory of it. But this has been real good and real helpful for me and my tribe members whenever we're going on the other side of the map and we're doing like a boss battle or we're trying to get an artifact. This has been more than helpful. Place upstairs, you can put beds, have extra storage. As you can tell, you can get pretty creative with it. Now this is mostly meant for large tribes, 
Um, people that probably aligns together would be good as just a big portable workshop. That way you can bring your dinos on, you can have them out. Now the same, uh, same rules apply with the whole tech stuff. However, you can put regular troughs, which with the way I have it set up right now, the trough will fully extend to the range of each corner. So whatever dinos in here gets fed. Hey, if you stayed this long, do me a favor. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Hit the notifications. Subscribe. Give me your input. Was this video helpful at all? You think I missed some parts? You want to see a more in-depth video? Was it just completely pointless? Give me that feedback. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you. And always, stay safe. Happy survival.